All right, so I've got a pair of shoes here that um, need to be adjusted so I can actually wear them, and I figured I'd show you guys how I go about doing that. Anyways, so these actually say they're 49, which is notably bigger than what I normally get, but I cannot get my foot in. Where I run into a problem is right about here, where my fingers are, this area here, my foot just won't go past. Uh, I've told you guys before, I have a wider foot, so that's where the problem comes in. One of the best tools I've found, this works for down in the foot, uh, this also works for up in the calf, so like if you've got a pair of boots and the leg is just too tight, you can't get them on. Uh, larger ball than this, but same principle. So these are just little uh, sports balls, think mini kickballs. Um, I want to say a pack of three was like five bucks at Walmart, you know, the dirt cheap. Anyways, you need that and a pump. I'm going to show you what to do. So get the ball down in here and get it as close to center of ball in the tightest area where we want the most stretch. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, we need to at least be in the ballpark about it. And that always falls over. Stick the valve in. And we start inflating it. And again, making sure we're where we want to be. And yeah, I think Anyways, I figured these would be fun because we can kind of actually see what's going on inside as opposed to you know, me showing you a shoe and I'm blowing air into it. Anyways, so we're just sort of feeling it, seeing what's going on. So right here, if we get too aggressive, that's going to rip, which is what we don't want to do. So we're just going to, oh, yep, and that's what I was afraid of. So I've barely even got started and the thing's just coming apart. So this is one of the dangers of doing this. Um, yeah, these just... Some materials you can get a little bit of stretch, uh, something like this, and you guys can see what happened. It just completely came apart. So, anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this just because you know I want you guys to see what can happen. Um, you know, this is not necessarily magic, and I had barely gotten started with that compared to what I've done with other shoes. So, yeah, it it can happen. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and hope it's a little bit informative. But. Uh, don't let, don't let this turn you off to this idea. Um, I have had tremendous success with this, with a lot of different shoes, but uh, just this type of meshing right there, the way this is cut, it just has absolutely no strength and just came apart as you guys just saw. So, uh, you know, things to look out for. Uh, solid materials can obviously take a lot more force.